Lander. And I wanted to bring this up only because we recently talked about the Japanese Loon Lander, but this um, uh, Intuitive Machines Loon Lander that um, did eventually touch down um, uh, on the moon um, was another, I think, interesting story to re uh, refer back to that these things are happening. What I thought was interesting with this story was the, was the private public um, uh, sort of angle to it. So it's a private lander that successfully landed on the moon. I believe it was the first one from what I was understanding in terms first of that. First ever. In fact, it's the first ever non-government mission. However, it does have a lot of payload from NASA on it in terms of, um, <laughs> um, you know, like uh, monitoring equipment and whatnot. And obviously, um, there's a component of this where <clears throat> it would seem that there's a lot more gear up for space exploration. So, you know, they can send these um, lunar landers out there without, you know, risking risking people or, or even if it's not about risk, it's not wasting unnecessary resources in order to gather more data etc before they actually start launching people back there um to do more yeah look this is this is truly incredible one it underpins how on earth did they get to space or even land humans on the moon safely in the 1960s that itself is incredible but what is interesting this is a non-government uh mission of course, it does contain uh, NASA's uh, best technology. But that aside, it's a Falcon 9X that gets them into space. And then it's the intuitive uh, lander itself that comes down. So two private companies there. It goes to show that, I guess, access to space is now commercial. It's no longer the domain purely of government. So very interesting. And I thought the most amazing thing was uh, the, uh, the planned, I think, descent to the lunar surface uh, had a malfunction and they used an AI and laser navigation tool that was meant to only be experimental to uh, bring the craft down. That is shows you what good AI can be used for and how amazing it can be. It also shows how amazing Neil Armstrong must have been to land. 